Hi, this is James from Cromwood Luggage Company, provider of pro quality luggage at unsurpassed value. Today we're going to take a quick look at Cromwood Soho and the fully integrated lock system, the TSA lock on this Conwood Soho. Um, the functional lock, the different parts of the lock itself, and finally how to install one's own personal code. Come a bit closer and we'll have a look at these details. <clears throat> So here's the lock itself. Um, first, I'll just explain the different parts of the lock and how it would look um, coming directly from the factory or your local retail provider. Um, so here's the lock, yes, this panel right here. Here are the zipper sliders <coughs> themselves that engage in the lock. Here, um, right here, this red diamond is the Travel Century Diamond, their logo type, which is a seal of quality, but also um, proof that this particular lock is accepted by the Transportation Security Authority in the United States, but also security authorities in many, many other countries. Um, so pullers, the red diamond from Travel Century. Here are the code, code dials, so three code dials right there. And then right here, we have this button, which is actually the button in order to open the lock. I'll open it right now just to show. So you open by pushing in that direction. Here we have this tiny little arrow pushing, uh, pointing upwards, and that's an indication that we push upward to unlock the case. Um, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about this button itself. So this is the opening button right there. <clears throat> and on the inside there, we see this, uh, this keyhole, this key slot. And that is actually, that's not for us to use, but that's for the, um, the Transportation Security Authority. Um, sorry, Transportation Security Administration or their counterpart in other countries to use a master key in order to open the lock and examine the contents if need be without damaging your case or the lock itself. So that's why we have that keyhole that's for the Transportation Security Authority or their, um, their equivalent. Okay, great. So um, that's the lock itself. The function is sliders right here will engage in the lock in these two slots in order to sort of disengage them or open the case. On this particular model, we push that one upward. Then we can just pull the sliders apart and open the case. Um, cool thing about this particular case is, is equipped with the kissing sliders, which actually, um, forget about that. So on this particular case, we have um, here are the sliders. On this particular case, we have here are the sliders. Um, that engage in the case, I'll just show to open here. Push that one upward in order to open. These are the slots that the zipper sliders engage in. Right here, I didn't mention that before, is the set button. We're going to get to that. The code dials and then once again the opening button right there. Now, um, the factory default setting is 000 as a code and what we're going to do now is to install a personal code. And what I will normally use for that is actually a ballpoint pen. You can use any sort of um, hard pointy object. Uh, ballpoint pen is actually perfect for this. Um, so what you want to do is you want to push this set button in. So push it in just like that. And on this particular model, that button will remain inside. So with the button pushed in, then I will want to choose my own code. I'm going to choose the code 424. So 424, <clears throat> there I have my code, 424, and in order to set that combination, I will just take the open and close, or the open button, and push upwards like that, and we'll see that the set button pops back out. That indicates that we actually have set this new code of 424. And I can test here and see that I'm able to push the button upward. Um, if I change the code to another number, like 313, I cannot do that, which means that Everything is working the way it should. Great. So there's my code 424 and just the final test, put the sliders back into the lock itself right there. <clears throat> At 424, we can open. Um, and then if I change that to, yeah, whatever, cannot open, back to 424, can open, no problem. And that's it. <clears throat> so that's the run through on Conwood, Soho, the TSA lock, um, default settings 000, the different components of the lock, 
and installation of your own personal code. Thank you very much. Have an awesome trip.